whatever that has beginning always have an end. And today marks the end for the late Chief of Army Staff, Tarid Abiodun Lagbaja. It's a painful thing that we lost a general. It's a painful thing that we lost a warrior, a gallant soldier whom Junior once have made statement that is touching to the heart. The end has come. And let's pay attention and follow every activities that accumulate the burial ceremony of late Tarid Abiodun Lagbaja. I'd like to specially recognize the presence of the Vice President. Distinguished Senator Kashu Shetma. So I will specially recognize you. Also, already seated is the former Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General F. Yaya, retired CFR. Your Excellencies, very distinguished guests, very senior officers, both serving and retired, heralding the arrival of the special guests of honor, Adiba Pipers. Special guest of honor, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tunibu, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces. Nancy Bola Ahmed Tunumu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, President, Commander in Chief, Grand Servicer, Member National Institute, Officers, Soldiers of the Nigerian Army, I have the honor to solemnly welcome you all to National Military Cemetery, Abuja, for this uh, solemn event. Behind the pip pipers are the equestrian officers mounted on horsebacks and Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police outriders adopting an arrowhead formation two in one leading the ambulance to the gravesite. Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, very senior officers have retired, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. At the moment, the backpipers of the armed forces of Nigeria is ushering in the remain of a revived late chief of army staff for the commencement of the solemn event.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Pal Bearers have received the remains of a revered lady of army staff. The special guest of the very seat of sales, ladies and gentlemen, please ask Martha of honor, please shall arise. As the remain of our revered left chief of army staff. It's all out in honor of a revered left chief of army staff, which symbolizes honor and last respect in recognition of his selfless sacrifice and service to humanity. The parade commander there is Major H.Y. Musa, while the ensign to the national color is Captain. The ensign to the Nigerian Army Colonel is Captain A.S. Rakiti. Okay, I will be this kind of thing back. Huh? Your Excellency, the distinguished guests, very senior officers, ladies and gentlemen. At the moment, the, the PAL bearers, the burial party, as well as the special party, are marching smartly to the gravesite. Excuse me, sir.
Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, so very senior officers have retired, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. As we are about to commence this solemn event, may I invite the clergyman, the Director of Chaplain Services, Roman Catholic, Nigerian Army, Brigadier General Reverend Father A.F. Mimagani, and Acting Director of Chaplain Services, Protestant, Nigerian Army, Lieutenant Colonel Venerable T.E. Oboyemi for the opening prayers. The clergy, please. Blessed son was laid in a sepulchre. Blessed we pray you this grief and grant that your servant to read a building language whose body is to be buried here, that he may dwell with Christ in paradise and may come to your heavenly kingdom. In the name of our Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Man that is born of woman has a but short time to live and is full of misery. 
He comes up and is cut down like a flower. He flees as it were a shadow and never continues in one state. In the mix of life we are in death. Of whom may we seek succor? But of you, O Lord. Yet, O Lord, God most holy, most mighty, O holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitter, the, the bitter pains of death. You know, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Close not your merciful ears to our prayers, but spare us. Lord most holy, O God most mighty, O holy and merciful Savior, you most worthy judge eternal, suffer us not at our last hour for any pains of death to fall from you. Amen. Thank you, clergy. That was the opening prayer to commence this solemn event. The special guest of honor, very soon after Sunday, retired, distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, on next on the program is the last post. The special guest of honor, may I crave your indulgence that we should please arise for the last post. The last post signifies the final farewell to our departed colleague and as a mark of honor and respect to our revered deceased colleague. Officers and our officers in uniform are to salute at the sound of program is a minute silence in honor of the departed colleague. May I crave your intelligence that we should please remain standing as we observe a minute silence in honor of our late chief of army staff. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. Please, you may have your seat. Thank you.
national flag having been handed over to the commander army headquarters garrison major general k a isoni he would in turn proceed to hand over the flags to the acting chief of army staff for onward presentation to the next of kin of our dearly departed late chief of army staff The acting chief of army staff would equally make formal presentation condolence letter to the next of kin of our dearly departed chief of army staff. Thank you, ma'am. You may please take your seat. Thank you. 